Yeah, the EU prime ministers and presidents will be arriving on this red carpet behind me in about an hour, and they're going to start their summit, as you say, uh, with a meeting with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg to talk about the latest developments in Ukraine and in Russia, specifically that march on Moscow by the Wagner Group. I uh, know they're going to be sharing intelligence. What did they know before that this weekend? What do they now know? The situation is very opaque. Senior EU officials briefing journalists yesterday were saying just there's a lot of known unknowns here. Uh, and so they want to kind of triangulate here, get as much of a joint picture as they can. Uh, the, the situation I think we're going to hear from leaders as they arrive it has changed changed as a result of what we saw this weekend. The situation, uh, the position of Russian Fla President Vladimir Putin is doesn't look as secure as it did a week ago, and that's going to change some calculations here. Now, as part of the general Ukraine strategy, they're also going to be talking about frozen Russian assets. This is all the money that they froze from the Russian central bank and Russian oligarchs that was here in systems in Europe. Uh, a bunch of that money got stuck in the Euroclear system. This this is normally a, a system that transfers large amounts of money from bank to bank that's based here in Belgium. Uh, that money got kind of stuck in Euroclear. Now they're not really sure what to do with it. They were supposed to have a proposal from the European Commission to work with today about taking that money and using it to rebuild Ukraine. However, at the last minute, the European Central Bank stepped in and said, hold on, this is much more complicated than you're thinking. There's two problems here. If you do this wrong, it could be subject to legal challenge and Russia might be able to claw that money back. And also, if you do it wrong, it could dent confidence in the euro and the safety of Europe's banking system. So today, they're going to try to talk about creative solutions for taking that frozen Russian money and sending it to Ukraine without, uh, make, while making sure it's legally sound and also reassures the markets. Interesting. You said intelligence uh, being shared, because what could come out of this, given that the Wall Street Journal reporting that uh, the whole to Pregazin gambit being reportedly to take the two commanders uh, if, of the Russian military in Rostov, and that plan got foiled. That's yet to be reported elsewhere. Let's see if that comes up in the intelligence. Elsewhere going on, Dave, this potential ugly political clash between Poland and Hungary uh, and the rest of the EU over its new migration stance. Yeah, we had this pact agreed by EU interior ministers early this month. That's a piece of legislation. That means the governments have agreed their position. They now need to negotiate with the European Parliament. That was voted through by qualified majority. And Poland and Hungary actually voted against that. So the two prime ministers of those countries, Viktor Orban and Mateusz Morawiecki, are going to come in here to this summit demanding that that be undone, that agreement uh, reached earlier this month. There is no chance of that. The European Council actually legally can't undo a decision by the Council of Ministers, uh, but they are going to make a, a big, big fuss here. And I think we can expect Viktor Orban to say that even if this law is agreed, he will not abide by it. Hungary will not send the money or take in the immigrants that is required under this piece of legislation. So we can expect a lot of clashes there. We also have this letter from Denmark and eight other countries asking for, quote, innovative solutions to the migration problem. That is generally understood to mean walls and fences, an extremely controversial idea. That's riled up a lot of other countries who say it violates international law. That migration discussion is going to happen over dinner tonight, and I think we can expect some fireworks and some rather uncomfortable dining for that tonight. Russia, migration, a strategy on China to be worked out tomorrow. That's a lot for political leaders to deal with. Dave, for now, thank you. Dave Keating, our correspondent in Brussels.